So it's been a rough couple months. Frankly, this whole year has been pretty challenging. We have our hearing date potentially finally actually coming up soon where Sam and I will get a chance to share our side of the story of what happened with Allie as we were indicated from a CPS case, meaning our names are on an abuse registry, claiming that we directly caused Allie's death. So that's uh, not so fun to be dealing with at the moment. And I am also pregnant, if you can't tell with a little boy due in about two months at this point. And, yeah, just finding it hard to really spend that time. I feel like I really need to prioritize my health and this baby's health and obviously everything is so much more heightened and sensitive and emotional and all of it because of what happened what happened to Allie so just feeling a little challenged lately I've my iron levels are pretty low and Basically, if I can't kind of get them up naturally over the course of the next couple of weeks, then I'm going to be uh, getting infusions at the local hospital here. So, you know, it's not really something I want to do, but uh, I really would like to still have a home birth, and I feel like that's the best birthing situation for me and uh, I need my midwife to be on board my iron levels are too low I don't think she she's willing to facilitate a home birth so you know obviously <clears throat> parents feel like they're failures at many different points in their journey being a parent and caring for children but you know, what happened to Allie is kind of a prime example of just, you know, feeling like you didn't really get a second chance at um, showing up, I guess, in the ways that she needed. And ultimately, she died. And whether that was our faults or a combination of advice and other people's influence we don't really know and we'll never know um, but it definitely feels like you failed obviously as a parent and um, there's really no taking that feeling away I mean the ultimate failure is that your child died. So, you know, just feeling extra sensitive and kind of a little frustrated that my iron levels are still low since I was doing so much over the past month and nothing really changed. Things got slightly lower in terms of my levels. So, um, but now we know some things we didn't about absorption and having the proper foods and teas to combine with the iron. Otherwise, it's your body's not going to absorb it. So, And I got COVID. We were down visiting Sam's family, and we all kind of got it <clears throat> down there except for Honor, so... I'm glad it's over with. <laughs> I'm glad we have dealt with it, especially since this baby's coming soon. And I'd just like to feel confident in my 
health and what's going to be happening and there's a lot of high emotion things happening at the moment. It's hard to feel grounded. A lot of other dynamics happening that aren't really my business to talk about at all, but it feels like there's it feels like there's, you know, three other pretty major things amongst my family and Sam's family and extended family that's just like kind of what's happening in the world right now. Nothing really feels straightforward or right, <laughs> easy, easeful. So anyway, I just wanted to share a little update as to where I'm at and perhaps in the future I'll share more.